All right, it looks like on-again, off-again relationship of Jennifer Lopez and A-Rod. I was sad about this. They say it's over for good. The former couple released this statement. We have realized we're better as friends and look forward to remaining so. We will continue to work together and support each other in our shared business ventures and projects. We wish the best for each other and one another's children. Sources have reported that J-Lo uh, still has the $1.8 million engagement ring. Whoa. Why do you think they <laughs> called this off? And, and, and J-Lo, she's a savage, man. She need to write a book. You know, I don't know why they called it off, but I'm going to tell you something. This is the first celebrity couple in a very long time that I've had an emotional investment in. And I'm sad. Like, I'm really sad. Like, those two looked good together. They had good energy. They looked like they had good sex. They both had good money. They had blended their children. And then, you know, I think I know them personally because I ran into them. <laughs> in the kids at the mall Here we go. At the tables. That one time. Tables. I eat and shop with J-Lo eat and shop. Y'all hoes get on my level. <laughs> Nevertheless, I saw them. So now I feel like I know them. Them. Right. And I saw the kids and how they were a blended family and they looked so good. And granted, I know that everything that glitters isn't gold, but I was really rooting for them. And this really does sadden me. And there's rumors swirling that he was messing with that old tired piece of unseasoned chicken from Southern Charm, Madison, whatever, whatever. And she just looks like every run of the mill, pretty hillbilly girl out there. And I hope like hell that he did not tarnish what he had with Jennifer Lopez for that. You know, a lot of times when oh, guys oh, have oh. a woman like mm -hmm. that, they it's almost like too much. You know what I mean? Like, I'm sure J-Lo is not fawning over him like the, the, the unseasoned chicken. You know what I'm saying? The unseasoned chicken is like, oh my God, I can't believe I have an A-Rod. You're the best thing I've ever had and will ever have in my life. Where J-Lo's got empire, she's running, she's working, she's got residency, she's got tours, she's popping. I remember a guy, like, I just remember talking to a friend of mine that said the reason why he kind of stepped outside his relationship was the other lady made him her everything because she had time and the boss girl mm. did not. Al, what do you think about this? I Listen, I already told you guys what this was and you guys just apparently don't listen. All right. <laughs> if you don't remember, three years ago, the local judge in Florida reviewed the case on racketeering and embezzlement false tax documents, insurance fraud, and interstate wire fraud. A-Rod is under, Alex Rodriguez is under extreme scrutiny right now. He is destined to owe back $50 million and a 30 years in jail is his ticket if he's proven to have committed all these things. Jennifer Lopez is not that woman. Okay, she is a boss, she is beautiful, she is successful, and she does have a lot of money. And like I shared with you the last time, she protects her brand over any and everything. And having a brand associated with a multimillionaire. Now listen, this man made a half a billion dollars in his career as a major league baseball player. And he is now for he is now facing embezzlement, racketeering, and tax fraud. She does not want that in her brand, and she's not going to have that in her brand because if she smears her brand, her daggone money chips or whatever you call it, what is it called? Her bag is going to decrease. That's what this is about. This okay. has nothing to do with an extramarital affair, period. So, so J-Lo basically is just trying to hold on to her pesos.